Hello everybody and welcome to a very quick tutorial on Affinity Photo, the last one for this year. Today I'm going to show you how to create text style or object style depending on where I'm going to use it and how to save it, also where to find it in Affinity Photo. So let's get started after the intro. Right, so let me get rid of this bit and create a new file and let's put a text in. I'm going to use text, then I'm going to show you how to add the styles to your object as well. So first one, okay. Take this, center it and let's apply a style to it. First of all, let's create from the scratch a style and then I'll show you where you can find the style presets. So go to layer effects and let's add an outline. Let's choose a color, blue, this is okay. Make this Small opacity, so I think 80% should be enough. Outside or center, I'm going to use outside. You can use solid color or contour, something like this. And you can put here the blue. It's up to you, it's how you want to create your style. For me, let's use this create a bigger radius, something like this to pop, you know, and have like a neon effect here. Then we can go and choose color overlay and choose the color of the text. Let's use a slightly lighter blue, something like this. And I think we can add some inner shadow Actually, no, some inner glow, the radius, something like this, neon -y style, something. Let's make it 100% so we can see it render better. We can make it bigger. And this looks nice. We can add this to our default presets. So close this and to view the styles, you have it in the styles tab here. If you don't see this bit, go to view, studio, and you have styles here. For the sake of seeing this properly. So this is the default styles. Let's add the newly created. So. To add it to the styles, just click on the text that you've created, click on this menu category and add style from selection. This is going to be added here. You can see I've added style number 25 it is the 2022 style. So if I click on this one, it's going to create my style and you can resize it. You can put it back or you can choose different styles from here. And this is how you create a quick style and use the already created styles from Affinity Photo. As I said, you can add the same styles to objects. So I'm drawing here like a square. You can add the same styles to the objects. So let's create another one. Let's create this crescent moon and put this gold rust here. If you create an object with a path, you are going you will be able to do it the same. There you go. If you want to adjust a little bit the colors or to, to change the grain of this object or something like that just click on it 
double tap this FX in the corner and you can play with the object. You can see it already starting to take effect. You can play with the 3D as well and change the details. Hope you enjoyed this quick tutorial. Until next year, my name is Alex Taradachuk. If you're not subscribed, please do so and see you next year.